video I'm going to show you to start off how to save 3D images so you can put them into a presentation and also how to save your 2D drawing. And we're going to start by saving 3D images. We're going to click on the 3D button and go into 3D. And we're in the 3D. And to save images, you simply align the camera the way you want it. And then you click on the camera button up here, which is blue. Then you select the image resolution. And you can select all the way up to 4000 pixels. And to save a photo, you click on one of the options. And it's going to save. Uh, you'll be able to save it to your computer. And we'll call this Test Image 3. And save and it's going to tell you when the image is saved and it's all done offline so you don't have to be connected to the internet when saving the images and the final images will actually look more crisp and have more details such as floor reflections window reflections if you had mirrors in the layout you would have mirror reflections so it's really cool and works really fast and to take more photos you simply align the camera again and click the camera button and save your images so you can save as many images as you want. Okay, I'll close that 3D. And now let's say I want to print this 2D drawing. Then I go to the print button here and it's going to load a preview of my layout. And you select the name for your drawing. You can add free text, any text here, like your address, for example. And you have two rows for that. Then you can enter your copyright information and also select the logo type. And I already have a logo type down here. But you click the button and select the logo type if you want to do that. Then we have various options here in terms of how we want our drawing to look. Like for example, now we're seeing the floor colors. But I can click on hide floor color and take that away. And we have a white background. And currently I have no measurements. So if I want to bring in the gap measurements, I click on that. If I want to show my wall measurements, I can bring that in etc. So you, you customize it any way you want. And when you're ready, you click on print drawing to send it to your printer. Or click on save as image and you save the drawing as a, an image file. So it's really easy. Another way to present your project, your layout, is to use the brand new feature in ESA Design 4.15 called Create Presentation. So I'm going to click on that button and then I'm going to follow the steps here and I'm going to click on begin and then you can fill out your information here so I'm going to type in some information I'm not going to fill out everything put down an email just like that and copyright oh, copyright easy sale Sweden uh, if I want I can select the logo Let's select that one. And now I'm going to click Next. And here I get to pick on which angles I want to have images from uh, in this presentation. So show front view, back view, left view, right view, top view, layout view. Then you have the option of showing the part list, the bill of material. And also, if you're doing fitness flooring that I'm going to show you a little bit later on, you can show the specification with that as well. Uh, then I can also select which objects I want to be shown in the, the presentation. So maybe I want to hide one of these objects that I don't want to include in the presentation. You just unmark. And um, if you want, you can also add special images, any images extra to the presentation and you do that by clicking on add and then select the image and it comes packed into the presentation. Finally, we'll select the presentation for this. We'll call this test easy design presentation and a short description tutorial presentation. You can select the theme color. So if you want a black or white theme, I'm going to select the white theme and click Create. Now, in a matter of a few seconds, it will build a complete PDF presentation for you, like this. This is the first page, second page, third page, and just automatically built an entire layout. A bill of material is added to the presentation. 
And if you've added uh, the floor uh, specifications, it would also be on and uh, any custom images if you wanted to add to the presentation. So this is pretty fantastic. Just by creating a layout, you can go instantly into 3D and then click on that Create Presentation button and it builds a wonderful presentation for you. So that's the new Create Presentation feature.